Here we have the current stock market update for IonQ Incorporated, stock ticker IONQ. Before we begin with today's stock market analysis, if you find these educational materials to be helpful, please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons. Leave your thoughts below in the comment section so that other traders can find this information more easily on the platform. So what we're looking at here is the four hour time frame. Each candle represents a four hour trading period. And I have not changed any of the chart markings. I've even left the arrows that were uh, posted here previously because a, a lot of the expectations here about whether or not the stock would trend higher or lower did turn out to be accurate, at least as far as the breakout points are concerned. been a little while since I've done a video on this stock, so I'll just quickly kind of summarize what, what we were looking at last time. Because as we can see, the stock was sort of rallying from 17 into 48, a fairly significant price movement, a fairly volatile price action because we were seeing some uh, quick and substantial price movements into major resistance zones. But when we last looked at things, the stock was forming a bit of a sideways trading range, as we can see here. Now, there are a couple of different ways of looking at a consolidation range like this. Number one, you can say that share prices saw a substantial price movement. Uh, the market is starting to stall out, lose momentum. And that can be a bearish argument if the suggestion is that there are no more buyers left in the market. However, the alternative viewpoint here is that the, the stock is really just seeing a major price movement and then finding a base at, at upper levels. So you do have two different possibilities here. And in this type of situation, the chart is really your best friend, especially with something like a quantum computing stock. We have to remember, these are companies that do not have any revenue. And there's a large amount of speculation that's going on here because we're sort of guessing about whether or not, you know, one of these companies can actually become the next Nvidia, the next Microsoft. And we're still a long ways out in order in, in terms of being able to make an accurate projection about those types of things. For that reason, the price history itself is going to be your best tool. In this case, what we saw was a break of the resistance zone that was seen for this trading range. So if we just sort of extend out, so if we just sort of extend out this resistance level, what we can see is that this was clearly the breakout point. We can zoom in a bit here, and we can see that you know there was a lot of sideways trading activity until this level finally breaks. Once that does break, that's where you've got your you know, your major potential for gains and things like that. So clearly, uh, these are the major price zones that needed to be watched. It's also important to note that a lot of this activity happened right into the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement zone, which would be this orange box here. For the most part, you know, we saw some brief spikes below that level, but you know, as we said in the last video, that we would have to consider that support zone to be holding because this is a very volatile and erratic stock. We also were not seeing any significant price closes below that level, so that's this orange box here. We also saw this region tested on three separate occasions, and again, it was a prior breakout point. So, you know, even just from an educational perspective, this is a very informative price chart. It can show you uh, what a breakout actually looks like before it ultimately takes place. So, you know, if we just go back in history a little bit, I mean, people are probably going to say, well, you know, is it time to buy the stock or not? Uh, things move higher, we're on YouTube, thing, people start to get very excited. But I would actually hold off here. I would not be buying things on rallies like this. And I would be waiting to see if history does repeat itself. Do we see an upward price rally followed by a period of sideways consolidation? Or, we, or do we just start to see people take profits here and things start to move lower. The next major support zone would now be expected to be this prior resistance area, which is near $49. So if we did see a break back below 50, I would expect the stock to see a fairly significant crash if that does occur. 